What's up internet? It's Josh Hewitt. Once again, it's time to duel with Hewitt. In this video, I wanted to talk about a problem I see with a lot of my clients and that's actually very prevalent in today's modern society in general and that is the very flexion dominated posture that I see with people that work at a desk or drive all day and then when they come home from work they're usually sitting at their at a couch watching television and again in that rounded forward posture. So what we tend to see is internal rotation at the shoulders, a lot of rounding in the upper back and also that sitting posture so they're rounded forward at the hips and they get very weak in extension and become very flexion dominated. So this is called flexion dominated posture and it can lead to a lot of issues with their neck and back pain as well as other health related issues. So in this short video I wanted to look at two very simple but effective exercises that these desk jockeys can do on a daily basis to help correct this problem. until your body is straight from the shoulders through to the knees. Try to maintain tension through your glutes, through your butt muscles, not just through your lower back. So we're not trying to get a, a lower back extension, we're trying to get hip extension. So we're opening up those hip flexors, engaging the glutes, and trying to keep a straight line through from your shoulders to the knees. The great thing about this is you don't need any equipment. Uh, you can perform this on bed, in your bed before you get out of bed or when you go to sleep in the evening. So aim to do this at least twice a day, starting with 10 seconds and progressing your way up until you can do it for a full 30 seconds. The next exercise is for upper back or thoracic extension. I call this the prone cobra. You're going to lie face down, bring your arms to the sides of your body, and then retract the shoulder blades without lifting your legs. With your arms, I want you to move into external rotation at the shoulders. So turn your arms until your hands face the floor. Now your range of motion is going to differ depending on how much upper back strength you have. So start with as much as you can get without, again, overarching the lower back. Try to retract those shoulder blades, turn your palms to the floor, and then, this is an important point, avoid or elevating or shrugging your shoulders while you're doing this. Keep your neck neutral. So face the floor, drop your shoulders down away from your neck, and bring the shoulder blades together, chest open. Okay, if you can get your hands off the ground without shrugging, then bring your hands slightly off the floor as well. Again, hold that for at least 10 seconds twice a day, and work your way up until you can do a half a minute, 30 seconds at a time. Perform this once or twice at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, Every day, it only takes a few seconds, but it'll make a big difference as far as correcting that upper back rounded forward posture. Stay strong. Stay strong. 